Hi everybody, my name is Chris Hurt. I'm with SIL Language Technology coming to you from Payap University Linguistics Institute in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today we're just going to talk to all of you Mac users who want to run SIL software tools. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a simple and free way that you can run these uh, SIL programs on your Mac with Windows 11. So the first thing we're going to do is install UTM and Crystal Fetch. Then we'll download a Windows 11 VM, configure that VM, install Windows 11, then start installing our SIL tools. Finally, I'll show you how to do file sharing and clipboard between your VM and then clean up. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by opening Safari and going to the UTM Windows 11 page. There's actually a guide for just how to do this particular thing that we'll be following. You actually need to download UTM uh, from the website. This is a free download, it's open source, but I'd like to let you know that you can also install it from the Mac App Store. Uh, it's a you know, $10 charge, but uh, that's one way you can support the developers. So you can get it for free by downloading from the website or uh, pay 10 bucks at the App Store. All right, let's go ahead and install it. We just need to download it, drag it to applications. Great, it's installed. If we take a look at our guide, we see that the first thing we're actually gonna need to do is download Crystal Fetch, which is going to pull down that Windows installer ISO. And uh, so it's pretty easy to get this thing, just go to the App Store, find it, and install it. This thing lets us download either Windows 11 or 10. I'm on Apple Silicon, so with an M2, so I select that. And I'm just gonna go with Windows 11 English language and download that thing. Now this is a big download. This whole video takes about 90 minutes, you know, to install, but I'm speeding things up for you. So I'll save that ISO just to, you know, documents or whatever. And then let's go ahead and check out the instructions. It says we need to open UTM and click on the plus button. And then it tells us exactly what we need to do in UTM to set up our VM. So let's do that now. Let's open up UTM. Very nice. And click the plus button. We are gonna virtualize a Windows machine, making sure the options are set. And now let's pick our ISO that we downloaded from Crystal Fetch. Uh, let's have uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and the default 64 gigs sounds good. This is where we're going to set up our shared directory between the Mac and the Windows VM. So I'll just call this folder Win11, put that right in documents and uh, set it up that way. Maybe I'll just name this Windows 11 because that's what we got. Okay, we're ready to start this thing. The important thing here now is we've mounted the ISO and you need to be sure and press a key to boot from that ISO. So we only do that one time at the very beginning, but that's important and that gets us into the Windows installer. We don't have a product key because we're just running Windows unactivated. So we're just gonna click through uh, Windows Home, click Next, the, fill up the virtual hard drive, and then away we go with the Windows installation. I'll speed things up for you so we don't have to wait around. Once it restarts, remember to not press a key the second time because we're going to let, Windows is already installed on the hard drive, we're just going to let it go right to that installation. So this thing's going to fire up a, you know, welcome to Windows and uh, installing screen. You'll notice it looks kind of janky because the video driver is not quite set up properly yet. But you can still go ahead and create your user account. Um, go ahead and continue through that and we'll just run it in a window until the video driver is properly set up. Uh, UTM has this installer called Spice Tools or UTM Guest Tools and that is what contains the VM video driver that will make this thing look proper and nice. So as soon as that's installed, Windows will be like, aha, and display properly and so you'll see that it'll resize properly and show kind of at a native resolution in your Mac. Alright, 
I like to just restart or shut down this thing. Uh, well, let's re let's shut it down so that we can eject the two um, ISOs that are in there. Then we won't have to press any key to boot anymore. So we'll just clear the two uh, CD drives with those two ISOs and start up the machine again. Uh, you'll notice that there's some like error logs that show up that seems to be normal. That happens for me. Um, it doesn't seem to affect anything. All right. Um, what should be the first thing we do when we install Windows? Right. We should run a Windows update. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Kind of speed this up for you so we don't have to wait around too much. And now we'll just restart again. With those Windows updates completed, I think we're about ready to go ahead and start installing some software. Notice you can run like this in a window or you can run it full screen. Let's go ahead and start by installing Fieldworks. Fieldworks is a program for linguists to uh, create a lexicon and do linguistic analysis. Let's go ahead and grab um, Paratext as well. These things are easy to search for and find. I'm not on a super fast connection, so we'll just go ahead and download a few things and run some installers kind of in parallel. So installing Fieldworks now. We'll get that rolling. Just gotta click through a few things here. And yep, click next, typical, next, install. All right. So once that's installed, um, I see the Paratex download is still taking a while. Let's just go ahead and um, what should we do here? Yeah, let's go ahead and install or download rather uh, another program called WeSay. WeSay is uh, a nice uh, simpler interface for doing um, dictionary work and word gathering. Okay, yeah, while we're downloading we say let's go ahead and, and check out Flex and see if that works. It works. All right, now we're on to installing we say. Great. We say is installed. Let's go ahead and check that that works. There it is. Looks good. Yeah, we're done with that. All right, it is kind of annoying. I prefer to turn off some of these Windows 11 things like the taskbar or task view and widget, the GoPilot preview. So I just turn those off so they don't bother me. And we're still waiting for the Paratext download. So let's speed that up. Okay. Now, um, yeah, we'll just run through the installer for this guy. Shouldn't take us too long. I suppose I could speed that up as well. So let's do that. All right, it's installed. Let's just go ahead and check that that works. So we'll fire up Paratext. This is kind of the once you've installed it running for the first time thing. And yes, it does work, but I'm not going to go ahead and put in my registration, so cancel. Alright, we'll just go ahead and shut this down real quick. You know, your VM can just kind of sit there turned off, and when you need it, you can turn it back on again. No big deal. Let's go ahead and do just a little bit of cleanup. We'll eject that UTM uh, DMG. We'll go ahead and delete the ISO that we were installing Windows from. We can delete the UTM download. And you'll notice the Windows 11 share folder here. Let's do something with that. Why don't we go ahead and download a Windows program, an SIL Windows program called Sheet Swiper. And uh, we'll download that. And let's go ahead and move that into the Windows 11 uh, shared folder. 
That way we can access it from within the Windows VM. So now that it's there, oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna um, delete Crystal Fetch because we don't really need that. We've already downloaded our Windows VM, so we just need to um, move that application to the trash. All right, now let's go ahead and start up Windows 11 again. we're in there if we how do you get to that share well in this PC under network locations you'll see this shared drive and that is your um, Windows 11 shared folder on the Mac so I was able to just double click and run that right from the share so that's cool now uh, the clipboard should just work now that once you've got the guest tools so uh, type in some text here. Can I use Windows 11 without activation? I'll just copy that string and then just to demonstrate this I'll go into my Mac or return to my Mac, open up Safari and just paste it in there. So clipboard is working back and forth. Uh, you can do your own research about um, whether it's legit to run Windows 11 without activation. I think uh, for me, I'm using it to run a few SIL Windows programs when I need them, but I'm mostly using my Mac, and so um, this is uh, working out for me really well. So that's my demo, and thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a good day.